Hi, I'm Rich Scheidner. In my HBO One Night Stand, a lot of the stuff I do is about relationships. You won't see me use any props or gimmicks. I don't do any cheap jokes. Just straight stand up the way God intended it to be done. This is my wife, Kay. This is our baby. I'm going to be a dad. <laughs> From the Old Vic Theater in Chicago, HBO presents One Night Stand, starring Rich Scheidner. Ladies and gentlemen, Rich Scheidner. Great. This is great. Yes, yes, yes. I feel that, too. So much good is happening. Got married this summer, June 4th. My wife and I got married. We got engaged New Year's Eve and got married June 4th. Because that's what you have to do, guys. If you get the engaged ring, you have to set a date. Otherwise, it means two different things to the people. The woman will get the ring and go, this means we're definitely getting married. And the guy's thinking, this will buy me some time. Because it's making a commitment. Sometimes you hear guys have a hard time making a commitment. I don't know why it is. But I think if a guy has a hard time making a commitment, it's because he tends to believe there's a perfect woman waiting in the world for him. Perfect woman. So he's afraid to commit to the woman he's with now because he's thinking if he commits to her, then surely this magical, mystical woman would then appear. And the guy would be like, I do. Oh! Oh, I didn't see her! Now I'm stuck with you! Oh, nothing's working out in my life just trying to learn and just trying to learn to learn to avoid those things that cause bigger arguments later on i used to make this mistake all the time just in terms of getting ready to go out for the date when she started to get ready to go out for the date i started to get ready to go out for the date then i had an hour and a half ready time to kill it's not her fault it's my fault women generally take longer to get ready because they care about how they look guys tend to be very basic is this shirt go with these pants all right let's go stain what stain How about now? <laughs> the problem is, you guys know it. Once you're in your ready clothes, there's nothing else you can do. You can't work on a car. You can't roll around with a dog. You're in your ready clothes. Only thing you can do is sit on the edge of the couch and yell, Let's go! <laughs> and there's never anything on television when you're ready to go out. This sucks. Let's go! <laughs> Crazy fool that you are, you think your yelling's actually going to make her move faster back here. Let's go! Keep yelling, stress boy. <laughs> and she takes the time to look good, to get ready to go out with you guys. You know, we have to compliment her. Because if you don't do that, that's a mistake. Because then maybe she has to bring it up in the car on the way. Aren't you going to say anything about the way I look? <laughs> it's too late now, pal. You might as well turn the car around and go home and argue for a while. Because you are captain in sensitivity. Because you know sometimes the pressure to get ready just overwhelms women. It's too much for them. Some of you guys must have been involved in this scene. You're waiting for her to get ready and it's taking an unusually long amount of time this night. It's gotten real quiet back there. You haven't heard her move around for a while. You want to see how she's doing, but you don't look like you're pressuring her. She so just kind of sneak back and peek in the bedroom. You see her standing in front of an open closet full of clothes. She's just standing there. The options have overwhelmed her. She's gone into brain lock at this point. <laughs> her eyes are glazed over. The pupils are dilated. She's just kind of swaying in the breeze. <laughs> she's not saying anything, but you know what she's thinking. I'm fat. There's nothing here that can help me. And you got to try to talk her down. You're not a fat baby. I love you. No way. No, you look great. No, we'll pick out a dress together. Let me help you on this. Let me help you. How about this blue dress? No! Forget the blue dress. I'll burn a blue dress. Blue dress, an evil dress. Never see it again. Why don't you go in your slip? You look okay in your slip. Because I don't want to imply that women are the only ones who are insecure about the way they look. They're just more upfront about it. See, a woman will say she wants to lose weight to look better. Most guys won't admit to being on a diet unless there's a world issue involved. 
Uh, no dessert for me, thank you. I read an article in the paper, the Earth is losing spin rotation. So. I'm going to try and drop a couple pounds, maybe we can pick up some speed next year. I do what I can. But there's some sort of pressure on women about weight that we guys at a gut level can't relate to. We have to understand it, guys, because, you know, right from the beginning of the relationship, she tests you as to whether her weight is really okay with you. There are idiot questions she uses from the get-go. Like the first time she sits on your lap, what does she say? Am I too heavy? <laughs> like you're going to go, whoa! I hope I can save them! I can't feel my feet! First time you actually ask her how much she weighs, out of curiosity, what does she come back with? Guess. <laughs> Any guy who's been around at all is going to go, what are you, 70, 73 pounds there? Woo! 125, get out of here! I got a leg 125. <laughs> These are just differences, not good or bad, just differences, you know. Men and women, we can't hang out together. If we did, we'd drive each other nuts. We have to have different activities sometimes, you know. Absolutely. I'm convinced that's how guys have been married for 15 years come up with hobbies like duck hunting. It's the only explanation I come up with for a guy one standing freezing marsh water at 5 in the morning. He's out there going, well, at least she's not here. the same way watching football on TV. Sometimes you hear women get upset, guys watch too much football. If it upsets you to a man watch too much football, try this, women, understand the game, sit down and watch it with him. Because most guys know watching football on TV is just a testosterone blowout. Oh, oh, that's stupid. That's the dumbest play I've ever seen him try to. That's a stupid play, stupid. What are you yelling about? There was a third and short yarded situation. He went off dive tackle. It was good call. They just ran into an overshifted defense. <laughs> you mean you understand this? Well, let's see what else is on. <laughs> and you women know you have a place you can go to get away from guys. You can go shopping. Most guys don't like to shop. We'll buy, but the shopping process throws us off. We don't have the patience for it. Something prehistoric in our makeup. We have to bag it and drag it back to the cave as quickly as possible. <laughs> That's so amazing. Anytime I see a woman take her boyfriend or her husband, she's going clothing shopping for herself because she wants to try different things on. She comes out of the dressing room, first thing she has on, she wants his opinion. He acts like it's a bank robbery. What do you think about this blouse? That's the one. Let's go. I got the car double parked and running. Let's go. Come on. No, don't make me hold a purse. No. One of the things I like about winter, it's the end of garage sale season. See, don't tell me guys like to go to garage sales. In couples, they'll go, but I've never been in a car with any of my buddies have them go, Hey, Rich, stop! Garage sale! <laughs> Look like I had a pair of shoes back there that might fit you. Come on, turn around. Just a minute, come on. But you guys know you'll be driving down the road in a car with your woman, and she'll see a 3 by 5 car tacked up on a tree about 8 miles up ahead. Next thing you know, you're standing in some guy's front lawn making small talk. What is this thing, man? I don't know. My wife got it at a garage sale. Come on, give me a quarter. Take it out of here. Come on, it's your turn to have it. Come on, get it out of here. Don't make me haul this piece of crap in the house. Come on, get it out of here. Come on. All right, here's a buck. Take it home. Come on, get it out of here. One time, my mother-in-law and sister-in-law were visiting from Texas. And my wife and them, we all went out to have lunch. And afterwards, they wanted to go shop me right next to one of these big malls. So. All afternoon, I tagged along with them. You know, watched them go into stores, out of stores. They tried things on. They took things off. At the end of the day, I said, you guys didn't buy anything. They looked at me like I was an idiot. Well, there were no bargains. This is so alien to the way a guy shops. Here's how a guy shops. Guy standing outside goes, I'm cold. Walks in the store, buys a coat, walks out, I'm not cold anymore. <laughs> Shopping day is over. Unless the guy's shopping for a brand new car, then he'll look for a long time. He'll talk to anybody who's ever had one of those cars. He'll go to the assembly line, talk to the workers who are building the cars. He'll go to Brazil to see the trees where they cut the rubber for his tires.